different oh, things. Oh, like, like the Reddits that. and the 4chan? Like the, yeah, Reddit yeah. and 4chan. Because um, I feel like they kind of started almost like a political revolution online of um, getting rid of PC. But I just wanted to see what you thought about them. I mean, I think they're mostly losers who sit in their mother's basements <laughs> and smoke pot and masturbate. Um, <clears throat> you know, but it, it, so I, I think that my, my, my biggest problem with, with, the, with this group of people is that there is a, again, I've spent my entire career fighting against political correctness, right? I'm the guy who goes to public high schools with, under, with, 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 with poor kids and says to the poor kids, the reason your parents are permanently poor is because they're bad with money and made bad decisions. Don't make those decisions and you'll do better. Right, that's politically incorrect, and that'll get you shut down by the high school principal, right? Which, which happened. It, that's, right, that's, that's political incorrectness. It is not political incorrectness to shout cuck at people. Right, you're not actually changing anything. I'm sorry, just shouting cuck at people doesn't make the world a better place. It just means that you're an asshole. Yeah. So, it's, so, the, so the idea that, it, it, so, you know, my, my big problem with this is that there's a whole generation of young people who are falling into the trap of thinking they're principled by saying stupid things, and not just saying stupid things, because right, cuck is just a silly thing, but, but people who are using the N-word in chat rooms because they think, oh, I'm violating some sort of societal taboo, and that makes me cool. Yeah, well, that's not going to be so cool when it turns out your employer can search you, and now you can't get a job. Right? It's not going to be so cool when you fall into this trap of associating with all, with all these folks, and it turns out that it's on your Facebook page. Right? It's all fun and games until you actually have to live in the real society where the left is, is willing to go after people. Now, I don't think the left should go after people, for this sort of stuff, because I would prefer to live in a society where we can all say whatever we want, but I don't think that you saying these things promotes that, because I don't think it's important that we have a society where you say the N-word. I think it is important that you have a society where you can point out that we're not disproportionately sending black people to prison, we're sending black people to prison in precisely the proportions they're committing crimes. I think that's more important than you shouting cuck or the N-word. Right? And this is, this, is my, this is my big problem with, you know, as, as you know, I have this long running debate now with Milo Yiannopoulos, this is my big problem with Milo and his entire movement, is I think that Milo is not conservative. I don't think he knows anything about conservatism. I don't think he cares about the Constitution. He says this openly. I think that Milo cares about being a provocateur. And I'm sorry, a provocateur generation is only valuable in, in standing for things that are worthwhile. It is not, it, it, being a provocateur just for the sake of being a provocateur is worthless. Provoke in the name of something real and decent, and then I'll stand with you. Provoke in the name of just being a provocateur because you're violating taboos and you're a waste of my time. Thank you.